probably a matter of depends on the season of life you're in, the context or role you're in, expectations. There's all different pieces that are external to us that I think really significantly impact which emotions we're experiencing the most of in any given situation. Um, and so I think one of the pieces, if leaders were honest with themselves about you know how they're, they're feeling, is that when we're in a good place and we're in flow, then being the person that everyone relies on is actually energising. Having to make lots of decisions is energising. But if we find ourselves in a place where we're a bit exhausted or run down or starting to feel taken advantage of or resentful, any of those feelings, then the very pieces that were seen as our strengths and that we found energising suddenly flip <laughs> yeah. and it becomes a demand and an expectation and a pressure. And so if I go back to those pieces that are deeply in how I operate in the world, I love for people to start to get more comfortable and honest with themselves about the fact that two things can be equally true. And I mm -hmm. think with emotions, with strengths, with leadership, that is even more apparent than in other areas mm -hmm. because there can be a sense of confusion if you don't learn to sit with that paradox because you'll say hang on a minute I love making decisions or I like being the person who's in the position of authority why is it that I just was really rude and defensive with that person when they asked me to <laughs> make a decision yeah. like so I think that piece of learning to sit with our emotions having you know two sides and the thing that can be a strength can also be a weakness is probably one of the most important lessons as a leader connected to tuning into those different emotions we experience.